during lunch today, I went out and bought the book of Mel Gibson. Oh my goodness. Have you ever seen the book of Mel Gibson? They, they had those on sale in Maine, of all places. It's kind of Maine. interesting. I mean, when you go through here and you uh, see pictures of yourself, does it make you uh, happy at some of the memories in there, or is it kind of, uh, you'd rather not look at yourself, or what? Well, it's lost youth, uh, Jimmy. <laughs> we're all a little older, aren't we? Yes, we're all a little older. Do you ever go back and watch your other movies? If they're on, will you will avoid uh, them? Or? I, I don't go out to watch them, put it that way. But like I have on occasion, like like I was in some, where was it? It was like, like in Maine, I think it was. And I actually flicked the channel, and I was there, like, and it was like 20 years ago. And there I was, you know, looking like a kid. Is it kind of hard? Do you, you kind of put yourself away from it? That's somebody else, or you remember what you were eating that day, or uh, what fun you were having, or? Well, the, the certain memories come in, but it is, it's, uh, it is unusually distant. It is distant. Mm -hmm. it, there is a feeling of separateness from that. There really is. You've tried real hard to keep your feet on the ground during this whole process the last 15 years, 10 oh, years, yeah. haven't you? Sure. Still doing a pretty good job at it? Yeah, it isn't too hard. I mean, it's, it's getting easier, in fact. Mm -hmm. you know, it's easier Where to do you live away. these days? Everywhere. Everywhere? All over the planet, you know. I mean, I'm either here in Australia, I'm in Europe, of, you know. I like it. I like Home it. is where the family is, right? That's right. You carry your basis with you, I think. Mm -hmm. This is a sweet movie, Forever Young, and you seem to bounce between movies that have some action, which you do very well and that people like, to movies that have uh, nice love stories in a, in a different kind of way. Is that a conscious selection or that's just how it's worked out? Well, no, this is very conscious um, because I like the story. I like the script. The last script that this guy wrote, I really admired. And, uh, and we just followed him around until he coughed another one mm -hmm. up. And we jumped on it. We said, we said please, you know, come here. And uh, Warren has helped us. We, they bought the script for us and we produced it. And it was, uh, I, I like what it said. I like the romantic aspect of it because I think uh, Inside all of us is a romantic, no matter how cynical we've become in the 90s and 80s and 90s. And, um, most people have that romantic inside them that wants to, you want those buttons pushed sometimes. And I think that uh, reading the story, that did it for me. And I felt uh, that everyone has that capacity, so why not push buttons everywhere if we can? What's the hardest button for you to push when you're doing your acting thing? I mean, is it crying? Is it. Uh, oh. Gosh. Having to get crazy like Martin Riggs has to do sometimes, or what is the hardest well, part? It's finding that area of um, uh, relaxation, I think, where anything is possible. Because um, none of these things, it's all the same, mm -hmm. really. Um, but it's finding the area where that's going to work the best from. It's like neutrality and relaxation and happiness and joy of what you're doing. You're basically a, were you a class clown when you were a kid? I was a little bit of a cut-up, yeah. I was um, always pulling some kind of stunt in order to confuse the teachers or, you know, there was a, a thing I used to do. They were fake fights and things. We used to stage them with people being flung over desks and, and having their heads bashed into lockers. And so that was just your way of getting attention? I guess so, yeah. And you, so, were a, you had ten kids in your house, right? Yeah. And your mother said that you were the funniest one, or funnier. Well, she used to get a kick out of me, yeah. Was that to get attention from, you know, to cut through the, the other nine that are ahead of you? I'm sure it had something to do with it, yeah. I don't, I don't specifically remember yeah. sort of clawing for attention or anything, but I'm, but I'm sure that, uh, yeah, that was one of the factors. When people see you, I mean, they know you're Mel Gibson, but is there a part that, like, a young person, a teenager or maybe a kid, sees and says, you know, you're in what movie? Is it the obvious choice of Lethal Weapon well, that you're most know. known for? I guess so. Yeah, I've made more of them than anything else. So. Mm -hmm. Is that okay, though? I mean, because I know actors don't like to be put in a type thing. I mean, that's my favorite thing you do, but... Yeah, no one does, you know. No one likes to be pigeonholed. No one likes to think... It, it goes against the ego to think that you can be so easily pigeonholed by someone else. One likes to think that they're not so easy to put the make on. But you showed them in Hamlet that you could do a lot more than just shoot a gun. I think that was probably a great selection well, for you. Well, no, you could do it with a sword, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Was that a conscious decision to try to do something that, you know, that extreme? Yeah, it was. I, well, I mean, I've read the play for years and it's always intrigued me. And there was a lot more uh, required than usual, I think, especially in film. It's not a real filmic thing to do. Do you sit around like once a year with your friends or who you, who you work with and family maybe and try to decide what you're going to do, like what's your next step career-wise, or you just kind of go, okay, I'm going to do something, and it's more it like just that. happens. Yeah. It's more Throw like it up that. against the wall or whatever sticks. Yep, and I don't usually debate it with too many people. 
It's well, just, you're, you, you've done pretty good. You, your instincts must be pretty hot on that. Well, I just follow my nose. You know, you got to do what you enjoy, and you have to you have to go where you feel you you should. Uh, there's something I don't know. It works. Yeah. Whatever. All right. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> okay.